In a world covered by endless water, people are forced to eke out a living on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. The people of this world rely on ancient technology driven by quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea, the sea. and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy, which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilizations. Originally, this was the diggers' only purpose, to find refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the years, the story of a fabulous treasure, fabulous the legendary treasure. Mother Lode, Spelt began with to be LDE because poor literacy is cool. The Mother Lode, a treasure so great that if it were discovered, it would provide so much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this Mother Lode, diggers travel from one island to another in their flying machines. Flying machines! Ever hoping that they'll find what they seek just over the horizon. Hope. Despair. Charity. Greed. Greed. Duty. Our Power. War. Who can say what truly motivates the diggers? Pretty sure it's not despair, but just throwing that out there. Hey guys, here's your fan X here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Mega Man Legends for the PS1. Let's get this price started here. Just want to check the options real fast. That's an annoying noise. Uh, Interesting. Alright, look. Uh, yeah, looks like that's good. Alright, let's get this party started. Here we go! Mega Man? Mega Man, Mega, Mega Man. Man! Mega Man? Can you hear me? Just barely. The transmission is too clear. I got worried because the transmission got cut off suddenly. I'm okay. I think this is the last door. Get used to that walking noise, it gets old very fast. Whoa! It's still active! The reactor's still running! Great! What about the refractor? It's here! It's a big one, too! Alright! Now maybe we can finally get some money! Be careful! And Mega Man uses his lesser known ability of telekinesis. Go indeed, let's get this game started. Start off here, going over the controls real fast. The X jumps, square shoots your buster. You can shoot three shots at a time to start. Oh, lets you sneak and does something else when you get an item later. Triangle shoots your special weapon. If you don't have one, he does this awesome kick move. Uh, left trigger and uh, L1 and R1 rotate the camera left and right, or you can set it so the D pad does. Uh, with the um, that you have to use the D-pad in this game. The the analog this game is pre-analog support. R2 enters this nice little free look mode and also lets you lock on if you have it enabled. So let's get this price started off over here. Wait a second. 
There should be a reaver bot around there somewhere. Reaver bots are the most common type of enemy. In fact, I think they're the only type it of enemy. Like a small other one. Than piloted bots, which you will be later. You should take it down with your buster gun. Instructions: Use the square button to fire. Press the R2 button to arm. I already told you this. No, I need to read the instructions again. Come on. Uh, scrapping the pickups. Diamonds are zenny, the currency in this game. The red orbs that you, we will see later are health. Turn right there. Alright, screw you all, I'm going this way. So, this opening segment's really easy. If you lose in it, you really do not deserve to play this game. As I take three, two hits, three hits, also enemies blowing up can hurt you. It's kind of bullshit. Uh, I was about to say, select, start brings up the menu, we'll get into what those do later. Select brings up your map, you are the orange icon. Yellow thing, yellow uh, lines of doors that lead into the same area. Green just basically lead into a different area. Uh, although, Where are you going, Mega Man? That's not the right way. I don't like the way that looks. Maybe you'd better head back. Screw you, I'll do what I want, roll. Uh, nothing over there. Yes, roll is in this game as well. This is Mega Man Voltnut. That's his actual full name. Uh, going in here, stepping on this. Be Trap! Careful, Mega Man. These are Snake Reaver Bots. At least that's what I'm calling them. They are actually very simple. Most, enemies, most normal enemies in this game are not that hard. Mega Man, are you alright? Yes, Roll, I am. Roll does not get stay this talkative through the whole game. You don't have to worry about her blabbing all the time. Do you see a door? No, I don't. That should be the way out. Okay, then. It's not far from your current position. Use the o yes, uh, O button also is kind of your get, uh, end all interact button. You use to talk to people. Yes, yes, there's something right in front of you. Um. <laughs> To explain the bars on the uh, well, and you know, open doors, well, I say open doors, there's really no animation for you, just kind of stand there and do your crazies for a sec. But I digress. Uh, the bar, left bar is your health bar, the red thing underneath it is, I believe, just a general, if it's glowing, enemies have spotted you. The bar, the bar on the right, which is currently... Well, there really isn't a bar. Is your special weapon energy? Uh, you'll we'll get special weapons later. You don't get your first one. Hold it! Bit. Don't move. Looks like it didn't see you. It looked like a reaver bot. We were lucky. You know, I, I, that wasn't that big of a reaver bot. I probably could have taken it on. Though. What's over here? Is this the way out? No. Oh, going over here. Big blue boxes. Uh, these are basically, you shoot them a bunch, take some damage, they drop a lot of zenny, and, uh, well, quantum refractors that basically just go straight into zenny. Uh, and that's, uh, I've already explained. Let's see, we already have my button, 2600 zenny, not too bad. Oh, also, zenny disappears, well, drops disappear incredibly fast, so you have to be careful. Mega Man, I'm picking up a Reaver bot. He's above you, watch out! This is the use the R2 button to track enemies. Just hold down R2 and it will automatically lock on. This system is buggy at best and a almost useless at worst. Uh, you'll con the game will constantly switch targets, uh, have trouble tracking, and even still, it also can mess up your camera. Right, just hop up here. I think this is the only point these show up. These are like energy things that you can shoot and boom, they blow up. Going in here, there are two chests. On the left one, there is 560 zenny, not bad. And on the right one, uh, the open thing means it's just open. You already opened it. On the left, right, we have Power Razor. Uh, the Power Razor is a Mega Man Buster Part. Attaching Buster Parts allows you to pop your Buster Con. I'll explain that. Alright, go in here. This is the menu. Uh, normal items are just items that mostly stuff you get from that you can't actually use yet. Special items are different, basically, key items you get. You'll have all these filled by the end of it. 
Currently, we only have the blue refractor we got in the opening cutscene. Busta parts! You can equip up. At, right now, you can equip up to two parts. Uh, with stats. Attack is how strong it is. Energy, I'm not actually entirely sure what that does, at least on your main weapon. Uh, range, uh, your power bus, mega buster has a very limited range, so that increases that. And rapid, uh, determines how fast it shoots. Simple as that. Alright, sleep down here. Let's go back to where that, uh, energy field was. Mega Man, I'm showing a large blip in front of you. It's probably a Reaver bot. Be careful. Huh? Mega Man, can you hear me? I'm losing you. The transmission's breaking. Somehow. Wolf? Are you alright? Can you hear me? I'm going in this door. Shows you are your first boss. Meet Giant Club Reaver Bot Thing. It really doesn't have a name. This guy is really easy. You just merely have to run around him and get your shots off. Moving while shooting is possible, but you cannot run back, uh, go backwards and shoot. He does that weird cat stepping thing. Just keep circle straving him, and there we go. Yeah. Run away! Still alive. Does that mean we have to fight him again? We'll see. That whole time we were on a giant pillar in the sea. Look at that sky. Well, I'd to have to say it after being underground for so long. Hmm. I wonder where Roar went. No way. Dun, dun, dun. You know, I could probably kick that guy's ass again. I kind of kicked his ass fairly easily last time. Back for more? Yes, this, the lip sync in this game is awful. And Mega Man killed himself. Game over. Wait, how did he know Roll was there? Hold on! We're taking off! Roger! Now they're like... Who's that one to you? Meet the Flutter! That's your ship! really doesn't serve that much of a purpose in this game, actually. It has more of a purpose in the sequel, but in this one, it spends half the game broken. That's a really blinding sun. Look at the shadow that's like three feet away from the where the actual ship is. Phew. Nice also, I love how a high-tech ship is flown by a standard pirate ship I'm wheel sorry, thing. I'm Mega Man. I had some engine problems, and it's okay, Roll. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. But how did engine problems resolve All's the transmission well breaking? Ends well, right? And we were able to get a refractor. We should be able to get by with that for a while. If only the mother load were as easy to find as this. Don't worry, we'll find it someday. And your parents, too. Thanks, I know we will. Oh, the engine's overheating. The smoke's so thick I can barely see. What? I guess the flutter's in worse shape than I thought. Oh, the number five feeder's going crazy. She can't take much more of this. Gramps, can you open up the number 11 valve again? Got it. We'd better find some place to sit down. Mega Man, check the map. 
There's an island called Cadillacs about a hundred miles. Cadillacs. Got Jack. You know this thing looked fine like two minutes ago. Land ho at Tootie Island! Hold together. Just a little bit more. Hold on. I'm taking her down. Right! And the Wow, that's a beautiful island. Holy crap. <laughs> and barrel die. Looks pretty bad. Looks okay to me. I don't think Just it'll a couple scratches. We'll buff them out. Quite a while. We've been pushing her so hard. Haven't been taking good enough care of her. We'll just have to fix her up. Looks like the repairs aren't going to be finished anytime soon. We'll be here for a while, I guess. I guess. This island. What do you call it, Mega Man? Cattle locks? Must have a town or a city somewhere. Think you could go take a look around? Fine, since I have to do everything in this game. Alright, quick explanation before we finish it off for the day. This is Data the Monkey. Hi, my name's Data. But you already knew that, didn't you? I mean, we've been friends for years, right? Come on, after me if you want to save, okay? I did a few things. He can recharge your energy, which recharges your health and special weapon gauges and stuff. You can get hints from him, and you also save the game. I'm gonna save the game. Memo card slot one. Not over my main gate data. That's uh, much later in the game. That's actually near the end. That was from my extra life run. And we're gonna call it an episode here. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man Legends, we're gonna go explore the island of Catalox and see if we can't find a town or a city or something. Also, when you're in town areas, uh, square kicks as well. So you can do like a can can. I've been Yoshi Fan X, and I will see you guys next time.